Hello YouTubers, this is Alan B. Me, and I'm, I reinstalled Ubuntu. I downloaded the latest version of Lucid Links 10.04 Netbook Edition. And before I tried it using the final release candidate. So this is the latest version that they make available for everyone. And this is running on my EEE PC 900A. I made some changes to the way I partition the operating system in my drives uh, and this is in real time by the way uh, as soon as I started uh, filming is when the uh, bio screen showed up so this will give you an indication of how fast it's booting on my system so I'm already at the login prompt so I enter my password here and I installed the latest version I made, did all the updates. I booted it twice to make sure that all the configuration field, configuration files were written, so that won't slow it up. So now I'll wait until I have a real cursor here, and there we go. So about a minute. Okay, I installed GTK, record my desktop. So now we're going to look at some of the features, uh, see what's changed. On the favorites, the usual suspects here. On the file folders, uh, I made some changes in the way I uh, partitioned my system. I put my slash var directory onto my SDHC card, which is 8 gigs. So that freed up some space on my... Uh, SSD card which is just about which is a little less than four gigs uh, I installed Thunderbird I downloaded it from the Mozilla site and I'm using the Mozilla binaries and I usually have had no problems with that I prefer Thunderbird over uh, evolution and I clicked that by mistake I don't want that and usual suspects here Tomboy which I'll never use uh, on the games, I like solitaire. That's all I know how to play. On the graphics, you have the F spot, which I'll never use, and open office drawing, which I'll never use. I probably will install Photox instead of the GIMP. If I need any heady, heavy photo editing, I'll use go to my desktop for that. Under internet, um, you have the usual suspects again, Firefox. And I copied my profile from my last installations. That's why it's asking me for the Vista Arrow theme, which actually I never used because it was incompatible. But here's Firefox. And as I said, I downloaded Thunderbird. I extracted it. I copied it into my home directory. And I copied the profile, the configurations file from my previous installation. So all my contacts are there. Um, I also installed Google Chrome and Amaya, which is a WYSIWYG uh, web design program. It's free. It's, it's made available by the uh, W3 Consortium. In the Office, we have uh, Evolution and uh, Open Office. In the programming, I have Bluefish, which is a text-only uh, HTML editor. Also use it for some programming of JavaScript, PHP, or shell scripting. I'm going to do a quick little demo of Amaya. Just make a quick little page here. And this is supposed to be enforcing the standards. So if I create my document with uh, XHTML 1.0 is going to insist that I use the correct format for tags and everything. So here I'm treating it just like I would a word processor. I select this and I'll uh, make it a header. Let's see here. Show you how this works. I can get a split view and there is the actual HTML code. Some things are made easier, such as uh, doing lists. There's an unordered list here. Just select and click. 
So I'll say this. Here's Bluefish. Now I'll just open up that file I just made. There it is on the new HTML. And there's the file I just made on the Bluefish. So I could do some editing here. And I'll show you the advantages of having a WYSIWYG editor. Um, I can I learned how to do this by hand manually, but it's much easier to use a WYSIWYG editor for things like lists and tables. But I still I still know how to do it. I haven't lost it yet. So I'm making another uh, unordered list here. And of course, in the old days when I first started, of course I used Notepad. So this is a a great improvement over notepad for sure and I'm gonna try to see what this looks like in the browser I put the GNOME default browser which should be Firefox but so far nothing's showed up so let's go and look at the other things sound and video uh, sound recorder let's see on the system let's look at appearances here different themes uh, some of these I wonder about Did anybody actually use them I like this one but of course I don't know how it's gonna affect my menu does anybody actually use this theme on on my desktop I use the clear looks but it doesn't look too good with the uh, launcher so I'll stick with the uh, default theme until I can figure out more how to do it under effects everything is grayed out which is just as well because I really don't need the effects they just slow up my system I just have a, a atom processor and one gig of RAM and here are the other things on the system I won't use Ubuntu 1 I had nothing but grief with that computer janitor let's see here if I have anything I need to remove Okay, let's look at my. Okay, my Firefox hadn't loaded up with that web page. Uh, may have to do some configuration here to make sure everything uh, goes to the correct browser. So far, Computer Janitor hadn't come up. I know it works because I used it when I first installed to get rid of the old kernel versions. has synaptic I like that it's gonna load up some programs and see how the system stresses in the previous version it would freeze especially when I was using the the browser it would just freeze for a few seconds I don't know what it was doing, I think it may have been related to the fact that I tried to use uh, Ubuntu 1. And it was checking to make sure anything needed to be uh, updated. Well, what's going on here? I'm out of memory. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I thought I solved this problem. Let's see. I only have 97.1 megabytes. So I'm going to use a disk analyzer to see what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> I thought I solved this problem by moving my var directory. Because it normally filled up with logs and stuff like that. But I don't think. Well, here's the problem. My temp directory has 1 gig. I only had about 1.3 gig free anyway before I started so my temp directory is four more than likely it's from record my desktop because it stores its temporary file in the slash temp directory so let's let's do a little DF here and see what's going on yep it's my SSD drive I only have 11 megabytes left I have plenty of room on my uh, SDHC card. So I didn't properly configure record my desktop.